Godzilla x Kong The New Empire has got even more crazier and insane than it already was. I am now getting to know that another iconic oversized super powerful kaiju is going to make an appearance in the movie. And no, I am not talking about Shimo. Quite honestly, at this point, every new update and news suggests the fact that this movie is going to be heavily stacked with crazy monsters and titans right from the beginning to the very end of its runtime. And now, we also know the exact reason behind Godzilla turning pink and what it basically means for the monsterverse going forward. And most importantly, I have some huge details on the second official trailer and a possible release date for the same. Over the next few minutes, I am going to discuss with you all those information in detail. So, it goes without saying that this video will contain some major potential spoilers. Those who do not wish to get spoiled can leave the video at this point. Before starting however, I just want to make a quick and brief statement. Talking about science fiction movies, games and TV shows is my biggest passion. If you want me to continue on this journey and bring you more such awesome contents, I just want you guys to do me a simple favor. Please spend one second of your time to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Trust me, it truly truly means a lot. Okay, now let us get back to the main topic once again. Before I talk about the reason behind Godzilla's transformation and the huge groundbreaking cameo, I want to talk about another minor cameo that has been officially confirmed for the movie. At this point, we know that apart from Godzilla, Kong and Scar King which are obviously the main antagonists of the movie, five other major titans are set to make an appearance. I have covered every one of those cameos in detail in one of my previous videos. If you have not seen the video, do not worry because I am going to give you a quick recap of the list of all confirmed titans. The first major titan confirmed to make an appearance is Titan Skyla, who is basically the giant spider which made a brief appearance at the very end of King of the Monsters. She is said to be involved in a major battle against the King of the Monsters besides the iconic Roman Colosseum. In fact, this scene was kind of teased in one of the recent TV spots where we see Godzilla standing tall right at the middle of the Colosseum. The next titan to make an appearance which you can see on your screens currently is this giant reptilian monster who made a brief little appearance in GVK. He is apparently called Titan Doug who is said to have a slightly bigger role in Godzilla x Kong according to the director Adam Wingard himself. Another very interesting monster confirmed to make an appearance in the movie is a titan called the Wart Dog. He apparently is going to be very similar in appearance to the giant wolf which appeared in the final battle of Thor Ragnarok. The only difference is that he is going to have a thick layer of bright red fur on his outer skin. This fan art right here might give you a better look at Titan Wart Dog. As you can see, he has an outer skin with a thick layer of bright red fur. For the record, this artwork is posted by a Reddit user who was present at one of the test screenings of the movie. Now, the next one on the list is a Titan which is basically known to most of you guys because he actually made an appearance in the first official trailer. I am talking about these giant ravenous predatory hollow earth monsters known as the Death Jackals, who also previously appeared in the graphic novel, Godzilla Dominion. The next titan on the list is basically going to be one of the biggest highlights and selling points of the movie. I am talking about none other than our very own Mr. Freeze of the Monsterverse, Titanus Shimo who is being described as the biggest and most powerful titan to exist in the Monsterverse. In fact, Shimo is apparently said to be the creator of the Hollow Earth itself and every other titan within the franchise. I have covered Titan Shimo's origin and backstory in my previous videos in full detail. If you are new on my channel, please do not forget to check them out after you are done watching this video. The movie is also said to feature the return of our very own queen of the monsters, Mothra. I also spoke in great detail about her role in the movie in my previous videos. In short, I would like to reveal to you that she is basically going to play a supporting role and is said to join forces with the team of Godzilla and Kong to take down the team of Shimo Scar King and his army of apes during the course of the final battle of the movie. Okay, so these are the titans which have been almost confirmed to make their appearances in the movie. Now, I am getting to know about the cameos of two more titans, one of which will in fact be playing a significant role in the storyline of the movie and is said to be the reason behind Godzilla's evolution and his new look. Now, this might sound funny and almost like a joke to you, but a titan called the Parrot Frog is reportedly going to be introduced in the movie. This news comes courtesy of one of the official Godzilla x Kong toy sets which features an action figure of this particular titan. Parrot Frog is basically a giant oversized frog-like creature who is a resident of the Hollow Earth. At the moment, we do not have much information on this titan but to be very honest, I am quite happy to see the Hollow Earth expanding and the Monsterverse gradually adding up more and more Titans to their roster. 
That finally brings me to the big update which I am really excited to share with you. It now appears that Godzilla's new Barbie-inspired pink look whatever you like to call it, came into existence because of the fact that Godzilla apparently had a battle with a certain kaiju somewhere amidst the freezing cold waters of the Atlantic Ocean. This kaiju, this massively powerful titan is basically a giant oversized larger-than-life serpentine sea monster known as Titan Tiamat. Her only appearance within the MonsterVerse was in the graphic novel, Godzilla Dominion. As a matter of fact, Tiamat was briefly teased in one of the scenes in King of the Monsters. As you can see, during this scene where we see the monarch outposts on this particular monitor screen, we get to see the name of Tiamat right here. Outpost number 53 is in fact where Tiamat apparently resides. However, we never actually get to see the Titan on screen at any point during the movie. But you have nothing to worry about because Godzilla X Kong is reportedly confirmed to feature the oversized serpentine sea monster in a major Titan battle with the Big G. Before I elaborate more on this epic battle for the ages, I am going to reveal some more details about Tiamat which would give you a better idea of her physical appearance, her strength and her special abilities. The first thing you need to know about Tiamat is that she is basically a giant titanic serpentine sea monster with a light blue colored outer skin. Her outer body has a distinct lining of scales with sharp knife-like edges which acts as a form of weaponry to fight against other titans. Her skull and her face is actually very similar to the ones which Monster Zero better known as King Ghidorah possesses. Now, the interesting part is that her body is almost 900 feet long which is actually twice the height of Godzilla measured from head to toe. This makes her even longer than Titan Chimo who is said to be around 550 feet tall when standing upright on his two limbs. So, her size definitely is one of her biggest assets and gives her an edge when fighting against other Titans. She has the ability to survive both on land and underwater although it is important to note that she is way more stronger and powerful underwater than on the surface. Now comes the most exciting and important part. Titan Tiamat is categorized as bio-ultraviolet by Monarch which actually means she feeds on electricity. Yes, you heard it right. The primary source of energy and fuel for Titan Tiamat is electricity. Not only does she absorb electricity but she also has the ability to discharge the same in the form of a concentrated beam of high-energy electric current. You will be surprised to know that she can discharge electric currents at such high temperatures which can literally boil and evaporate an entire ocean. This is basically the exact opposite and a perfect form of counter-attack against Titan Shimo's iconic ice breath. If you are a regular follower of my channel, you may already be aware of the fact that Titan Shimo literally managed to freeze the entire freaking planet all by himself thereby causing the ice age in the process. This is because Shimo has the ability to let out a high intensity ice breath courtesy of these crystals attached to his spine which can literally freeze anything of any size and volume. It is reported that Monarch after finding out about Titan Shimo's ice powers decides to make use of Tiamat's powers to take him down. They make a plan to lure Tiamat into the icy cold waters in Antarctica where she would be weakened due to the enormously low water temperature. They do exactly that and as Tiamat reaches Antarctica, she is greeted by none other than the king of the monsters, Godzilla. The two larger-than-life titans involve in an intense back-and-forth battle and after a close encounter, Godzilla eventually manages to pick up the win. Godzilla then goes on to absorb a large quantity of electric energy stored within Tiamat's body which basically turns him into his new evolved form. This basically provides the Big G a massive weaponry to withstand Shimo's high energy ice breath. There is a huge possibility that Godzilla actually might go back to his original form with the dark blue dorsal plates once he has discharged all the electric energy after the final battle. And I really hope that happens because I personally prefer Godzilla's original looks way more to this Barbie inspired look. So, that was all I had to share with you regarding the storyline of the movie. Now, I have a couple of huge updates to share with you regarding the second official trailer and its possible release date. It is said that the second trailer for Godzilla X Kong is fully made and is all set to be released. And according to most insiders, the trailer is going to drop on the 11th of February, during the Super Bowl event. Let me remind you that the Super Bowl will also feature the release of the first official trailer for Deadpool 3. So, we are just one week away from witnessing the trailers of two of the biggest and most anticipated movies of the year. I also have another very interesting news to share which is going to get you guys even more excited for the trailer. It is said that the trailer will in fact give us the first official look at Titan Shimo. I know a lot of fans were disappointed with Legendary Studios for not revealing him in the first trailer. So, it looks like the studio has listened to fans and the second trailer is set to make up for that. 
That is all I had to share with you guys in this video. Please let me know your thoughts about these new details and updates which I have covered on my channel in the comments down below. And please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.